Wolf, Sonic on Delfino's Secret. And here we go. Jumping straight in. So we're going to see a little bit different match this time. We've got Sonic who has the horizontal mobility that Squirtle has with his side Bs and stuff. But we have a Neon on that Wolf who is able to both apply pressure with his lasers, but also has this crazy combo game that we're about to see now off of these shines. Oh, that was really safe. Something I think I recall NA10 doing, I don't remember entirely if it was off of Falco or Wolf. I believe it was Wolf, but at Rewired, um, our last regional, I believe, um, NA10 did this really amazing thing where he forward threw him off stage and then just kept homing attacking him. That's the thing? It was against Filthy Casuals Wolf. Thank you. Shout outs to Saga for giving me the info. But he just kept homing attacking him and Wolf had no option. Or he couldn't do anything about it. And I really, I really want to see NA10 do it again. I mean, we'll see if that happens. Uh, Neon is looking really good and he seems to be applying this pressure well, but oh my gosh, he didn't even try to recover. I don't even know what happened there. Maybe he ate his jump or something? I, I don't know. So, uh, NA is it pronounced NA10? Or NA10. Nate, Nate 10 or? However you feel appropriate. Wait, is his real name Nathan? Yes. Oh, it's, it's a Nathan. So, NA10, uh, Nathan. Okay, okay, I see that. So, HF Neon, what does the HF stand for? His fraudulency, Neon. Okay. His fraudulency. That's, that's what it stands for. Now, I really like what Neon's doing, uh, shooting the laser to get uh, Sonic out of his role. Oh, yeah. You would think that the lasers would, uh, you know, wouldn't do much against the role. Like, it would take over priority. But role, it doesn't. Or spin dash. Spin however, dash yeah. however you want to call it. Oh, I like that option. And A10, he's up right now. I, I mean, liked uh, Neon's decision right there to go to the platforms because he saw that NA10 was trying to reset, trying to get in with these spin dashes. So he's like, I'm just going to go up on the platforms, force you to come up diagonally. Uh, Neon doing a really great job mixing up all these recovery options. One thing we do know of NA10 in the past is that he, do, he does have um, a struggling mental game at some point. Really? He's listening to music right now and he's feeling pretty good being in top 8. So I know that much about him. And uh, something that the viewers actually can't see right now, we are actually uh, playing on these super nice CRTs with incredibly, incredible color, playing with the split Wii, actually going, oh my god! Playing that with the was Wii up. that is splitting to two CRTs simultaneously. So if you see on the player cam, both these players are actually looking at different screens right now. What a string by Neon, putting Nate 10 into a bad situation. And here we go, more hits. But uh, every time Nathan is making it back on stage, Neon just makes sure that it doesn't happen. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that to kill. That was, was such very a high unexpected. scene as uh, Delphino's yeah. secret. That was very unexpected. I'm not sure if you know, or I'm not sure if the chat knows either. NA10 does have a pocket wolf. He plays Falco in, in uh, Melee, and he really? was telling me like at one point he kind of wanted to main either Falco or Wolf, so he did grind with both of them. So he does know Wolf's... <gasps> is that a stock? Oh. Is this a stock? That will be! That's, that is a stock. That was very fast. 10 seconds. First 10 seconds in the game. So uh, NA10 playing, uh, playing the Red Sonic in honor of the character that will never be. Aww. Right. Are we going to see Neon answer right back with a good ledge game? Nope, we're not. NA10 is going to set right into neutral. Oh, these lasers stuffing his options. That was a great yeah. shine. That's also really good DI by Nate 10 actually. Because he, I think he was close enough to the top because they were at the very top of the uh, swinging platform that I think he might have been able to die off the top there. But good DI from that saved him. And tipper forward air. That will kill. So Neon actually now going up a full stock after being edge guarded in the first 10 seconds. Oh, oh really my God. good comeback there. Something that screws over uh, Wolf super much is that spring you just saw right there. If if Sonic catches Wolf off stage, a homing a homing attack or a spring will do the trick easily. That's something that uh, 
Sonic definitely has against Wolf. I thought we were going to see the spring right there. He might have gone for it, but instead he went for just uh, rolling up on the ledge. Oh, very well placed back here. So now it's 2-2, two, two, game 2, and uh, NA10 has the lead. Not for long, though, if Neon keeps this pressure up. Yeah. Oh, my God. <coughs> Neon is at that percent, though. Oh. Hey, HF hey. smash Neon taking the stock. It's a thing. It's a real thing. He was at that percent. Oh, oh no, that's a heartbreaker. And now we have a dead even game. Unfortunate SD. That could have been Neon's game. And it still but might be. It still could be. He's got 40% on Nate 10 right now. Spring. Oh, homing attack. Oh, homing attack. Oh, my Bloody God. Oh, my God. He was almost under the stage there. Oh, my goodness. The presence of a wall doing a lot for Nate 10 right there. Neon retreating back to the moving platform. That's a very safe option. Oh, this is very tense. NA10 could... Oh, and he got the sweet spot. He, he shortened it, too. Neon. Nutty. Nutty. Oh, my gosh. So is that 1-1 uh, that one, one now? That's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, 2-0. Two, 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 oh, two, two, oh, all right. It's 2-0. Oh. NA10. Feeling. He's feeling the pressure. He's feeling the pressure. We're heading to Smashville now. We'll see how this works out for him. Another moving platform. Oh, but Neon SDs right off the bat. I looked away for a split second to look at the chat. First five seconds. <gasps> Homing attack. Oh, oh no. He wow. answers right back. <laughs> We're, will we see it again where Neon gets d killed in the first 10 seconds and then brings it back? I have no clue, my man. Look, looking like Brawl, starting with three stocks of peas, looking like Brawl. Okay. So what are we looking for? NA10, how can we help you when you look back at this video? How can we help you? I, I he's dealing that. with the lasers well. I like what he's doing to deal with the lasers. He's not getting hit out of his spin dash with the lasers as much as he was at the beginning. But the problem is they're also forcing him to play a lot more defensively than I think he wants to. Right. I mean, if you looked at every game, <laughs> NA10 has taken him to last stock. For the most part. It just feels like Neon's punish game is on another level right now. As it as it usually is. Spring. Ah. Uh, homing attack. Grabs legs. I really can't oh. complain with the options that Nate 10 is selecting. Like, his, his option select is good. The way he's doing things are good. I just feel like on the defensive end of things, he's just getting outplayed a little bit. And that's what's leading to these one-stop games. I can agree with that. I know and I, I know the color red can tend to be more aggressive, leaving NA10's defensive play to be not on the not on the mind, you know? I mean, if you want to get scientific like that. <laughs> oh, it's an he idea. wanted the spike right there. This is a pretty even game. This could happen if Nate 10 gets a really solid string on Neon, but he really can't afford to eat a big forward smash or a side B like that. Oh. And there's the forward smash right there. But all of a sudden, HF Neon is one stock away, two minutes into the game, of moving on to top six. Oh, he flanks with the shine. Oh, we're seeing the pressure. This is the pressure they needed. There's the spring. And the neutral air could do it. Oh. And he goes for the back air just to make sure. Just to make sure. Wow. Only 34% on him, but he spent a little too much time above Neon. Neon just came up, gave him that up there. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, shoot. I was right about to say, NA10 potentially on his tournament stock, but nope. He closed my, closed my mouth We're right quick. We're going to game four right now. Closed my mouth right quick. Game four. Woo! Three, two, Yo, let's go, NA10. NA10's not letting up. He's not, not at all. He's adapting well. He's playing safer. He's not letting Neon shut him down the way he was at the beginning of the match. Oh, Ooh. Neon just tried to shine out of a combo there, but it didn't work, and Nate 10 just continues to wow. put on damage! Wow! We're seeing some major punishing from NA 10. 
The homing attacks into the up air is not enough to do it. Wow, this is insane. Good down that smash. Quick down smash, but Sonic does have that horizontal recovery. Catches it with an up tilt. Oh, Nate wow. punishes off of a missed forward smash. Wow, get hyped. But immediately answers right back. Looking like Brawl once again. Oh go! my god! Woo! Big 10. Ow, ow. Looking beautiful. Yo. Taking advantage of all of Wolf's uh, shortcomings on the ledge. Is he going to do it Yo. again? Oh my oh. god! Night 10! Neon trying to keep up. I'm not sure if he can handle it. Are we going to go to game five or is Neon going to bring this back? I'm not sure if I can handle that it. That forward smash is the beginning of it, but he uses the up air and actually knocks Nate 10 back to the center of the stage. But he has him up in the air. Is he going to convert off of this? He misses the shine, but lands the down air. We are resetting it in oh. neutral where he will land a forward smash. He's only down by one stock now. Is he going to end it now? Who will go to top six at run back 2016? These are the combos he needs. NA10 finding a way in, but having a hard time keeping it. If you see, HFN's trying to keep him out with these lasers, and he's doing a pretty good job. He's doing a pretty good job. After such a hype exchange, we are now back in center of stage, battling for control of the neutral. The next hit is going to start a big combo like that, leading into a down smash, but HF Neon responds! Oh, it takes another stop. We have an even game. Are we going to see NA10 throughout another gimp as we've seen, or is Neon going to come back with another huge combo? Is this the start of it? Up throw, up air, forward air. Oh, oh my yeah. god, we are going to game five, ladies and gentlemen. HF Neon and NA10. Was that all four stocks with forward air? That was definitely three of them. For sure, definitely. Oh, AZ, AZ, AZ's excited about something. Man, AZ hype in the building. Game five, oh. PS2, winner makes it to top six. Man, this is why I love AZ. Everybody is so hyped for their team. This has been an incredible Woo! so far. We are seeing even more incredible action. HF Neon is going to take that stock with only 3% on him. That has been the tone of the match. It seems like any time one of these players is able to get in, they make something happen, they lead into a big combo, and they get a lot of percent per hit. Look at the player cam right now. Look at these two players. NA10. I mean, they, want, they want this win. Whoever can win this game will go into top six on the winner's side and have a pretty good chance of making a huge run. In the what? Loser side. Loser what? side. Oh, wait, this is already losers? This is losers. Oh my gosh, so this is for elimination. Just wait till winners comes out. Man. Oh, very nice sweet spot. That's another big stock by Neon. Only 48% on him this entire game. We have seen NA10 come back from worse though. Momentum does not seem to matter in this match at all, as anytime somebody starts to get something going, it always feels like the other person is ready to come back and make things happen. Oh, NA10 at a, isn't at a great position right now. He's doing a good job of making it back to the stage, though. He's not letting Neon get that cheese on him. Speaking of, wow, I mean, oh, all that cheese. That's a pretty standard laser into forward smash. Didn't really look like NA10 was ready for that. He was trying to come down off the platform and start a combo of his own, and Neon just called him out for it. Just look at this stock, though. Really quick, I'm sorry. Look at this stock count. Four to one. NA10 potentially at his tournament stock. Well, definitely at his tournament stock. Think yeah, no, if he loses this, he's done. There's the homing attack into the up air. Taking we the are stock. not going to see a four stock today, but NA10 sitting at 60%. Oh my gosh, he spin dashes himself off of the stage. Neon going for the kill right now. 
Off that was an opportunity for NA10 to do something right there. Not able to pull anything off, but lands a spin dash, goes for a hard read, and gets F smashed himself for it. Back air. And that will do it. That's the set. NA10 putting on a show.